What's up, guys? Anthony here with Empire Music, empiremusic.com. Phone number at the shop, 412-343-5299. You might want to call me. You might not, but I think you will because we got this amazing, really amazing, for an amazing player, Pino Palladino, Fender Custom Shop, Signature P-Bass. Had to open up with an octave pedal because if you know Pino's playing, um, not as much anymore, but the early Pino stuff was just full of that octave pedal, that OC2, that old boss OC2 sound. I'm actually playing an OC5 there on the bass setting, on the vintage setting, so it's nice and monophonic and cool and glitchy. Um, but I am a massive, massive Pino fan. Uh, probably my top three bass players. Probably, in all honesty, my biggest influence as a, as a, as a bassist, I think... I can sum up everything I've ever done as just poor impersonations of Pino Palladino. I'm, I'm very legitimate about saying that because uh, he really is just a chameleon in the styles. And this bass, while it's a P bass, could fit a whole lot of stuff, although it's going to be geared more towards kind of that, that funk soul thing, I think, with the flat wounds on here. But you could do anything with it. He, again, just such an incredible player. And uh, if you're not familiar with Pino stuff, please take a look and check that stuff out. I could give you a long, long list of records to check out, but we'll, maybe we'll do that in another video. Maybe we should do a segment of what we're listening to here at Empire Music. Maybe some people would like that. Let us know if you'd like that. Um, so anyway, to the bass. It's really cool. We had one of these maybe about a year ago, and it sold like before, or I think it hit the website and I was going to do a video on it and then it sold like within a few hours. So I didn't get a chance to do it. So this one came through. And when we start talking about the specs on this, what's interesting with this, and I know, um, I can't remember what the other one, maybe it might've been a Jocko signature from the custom shop. Like the, they've been doing these for years. So some of the specs are a little bit, I guess, nondescript in a way, because I'm so used to reading the, the spec stuff on custom shops, and it's like this very specific neck profile, these very specific pickups. Um, it doesn't have all that sort of, so it's kind of a loose interpretation of really what we're getting with like a, an early 60s P bass. I am familiar with that stuff from the custom shop. This fits kind of right, and so again, it's shipped with flats on it. They call it a select alder body. Finish wise, a little bit unique. Uh, aged desert sand, or desert sand, I'm sorry, Fiesta Red over Desert Sand. So you can't see it much. I mean, you can kind of see the Desert Sand peeking through there underneath, the, like on the edges of the relicking. But what's cool about that is it definitely has a, a, a pinker hue to the Fiesta Red than what we typically see out of it, uh, probably sitting over that Desert Sand. Uh, the aging on the pickguard is very nice. We see that a lot out of the Fender Custom Shop. Beautiful rosewood neck on it. Now, the pickup, they just say it's a vintage P pickup. It is reacting a lot like the 62 hand wounds that come out of the custom shop. I do not know if that's what they're putting in here. If it is a specific pickup, I really do like the tone of it. The flats kind of hide a little bit of the nuances on there. And speaking of the flats, it comes with Tomastic flats on it, not the Fender flats, which I have zero problem with, but Tomastic flats feel very, very good. Um, and then the neck, let's call it a C-shaped neck. That's it, that's all they call it. So I am interpreting this as, and again, could be off, I didn't take any measurements, I didn't break out the calipers or anything like that. It feels a lot like a 60s oval C to me, maybe a little bit chunkier than that, uh, but that's what they call it, just a, just a C-shaped neck on it. So it's pretty straightforward P-based stuff. I think the big characteristics here are coming from the flat wound strings on it. Oh, and it's quarter sawn maple neck on the two, so nice stable feeling, um, gives good resonance through the body. If you buy into that type of thing, I do to some extent, not a, not a, not a ton. Um, if you hop over to our Instagram page, I know, uh, last one of the last comparison videos I did, uh, I was able to, I played to a track. It was cool to do, didn't have time to like get a loop together for this video. So we're just going the old school way here, just uh, right, just the, the bass with maybe just the octave pedal on there, gotta do it. Uh, but if you jump over to our Instagram page, you'll hear this bass in a mix um, that I was able to do just for a quick little like minute and a half video. And it was very cool in a mix. It sat great, as I would think it would. Anytime you get a P bass with flats on it, I think sonically, it really, really sits behind a band very well. If you want it to kind of poke out in front with some of that, that really kind of buoyant, lower mids, low subs, 
and kind of get that out of it. Um, so let's go all volume, all tone, right? So everything up, now I gotta keep them up. We have flat wild strings in here. We're never gonna get super bright. We're never gonna get that real, um, you know, I always talk about compression on a P bass. A lot of that comes out with the flat wound strings when we start to dig into it. You can pull a little bit out with this, especially with fresh flats. As they age, that's a little bit tougher to get that, that, that barkiness on the upper end, but um, still, uh, this is like the tone, I think. So straight finger style, and we'll do some palm muting stuff, which I think it kind of encapsulate the whole Pino, D'Angelo era stuff, but uh, cool. Talk about just like a, a no BS P bass tone. Like that's it. In your face, you know, um, unapologetically large P bass kind of sound to it. And hear what I mean by what, 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 how the flats change that characteristic so much. That's why it's nice as a bassist uh, to have a P bass with flat. You go to a studio, you should take, a, I think, my opinion. You should take a P bass with rounds and a P bass with flats. You really got everything kind of covered there. But check it out, when I start to dig in on this. That's full tone. You know, so we're not catching that upper character. If we put rounds on this, I can tell from the character of the pickups, it'll come right out. Um, so this really excels in the slightly lighter touch to it. Compress is nice from a volume perspective. Yeah, a little bit of barkiness on it, but it really, I think, sounds so sweet and, and, and really big with a little bit of a lighter attack with the, 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 these particular strings on it. Right? All right, so palm muting, right? So that is like, I think this thing just crushes in this environment. Love that for the Motown, thubby, like really funky uh, kind of sound to it. That would sit great in a band. Play with the pick too, and I noticed when I was kind of warming up, um, actually not today, when I was doing the other video that's over on our Instagram page, messing with the pick, I love the way that flats currently have half wounds on a P bass at home, and I really love the way that does the palm mute thing with the pick. If you've watched the videos, you know I kind of really been smitten with this kind of tone recently. Mm -hmm. 
check it out for like those chords I was playing, uh, that little kind of gospel-y thing. Love that tone. So, kind of straightforward. We roll some tone back. Super cool tone, it's kind of inspiring to play that stuff and like even attempting to cop some Pino stuff. I, it's funny, locally I, I have a, I play in a band, we only play out maybe like two or three times a year, but it's like a John Mayer cover band and I get to play all those Pino riffs and they're all escaping my mind right now. So I'd be embarrassed <laughs> if it go, go through with that stuff here on camera. Though we always have to do the Paul Young with the octave pedal. Live butchering things on the air with you guys. Um, but yeah, the octave stuff, just like the, the flats and this bass, just obviously I think anytime you see the name Pino, you wanna do it, but. Sounds really cool. We did that at the beginning. We didn't have to go back through that stuff. So just an awesome bass from the Fender Custom Shop. Wanted to show it off while it was here. I don't expect it will last very long by the time you see this video. I know I say this all the time, but it does come true most of the time. By the time you see this, it might not even be in stock. But shoot me a call, 412-343-5299. You can email me directly. It's anthony at empiremusic.com. This is the signature, my bass hero, one of the many. Pino Paladino signature P-Bass. Very cool from the Fender Custom Shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.